While most of us were distracted by the holidays, Nvidia quietly made its biggest move in its 32 year history. They agreed to pay $20 billion to the AI chip startup Grok, that's G-R-O-Q, not to be confused with G-R-O-K from Elon. But here's the thing, they're not actually calling this an acquisition. And that little distinction might be the most important detail of this entire deal. Grok makes these special types of AI chips called LPUs or language processing units. Most AI systems run on Nvidia's GPUs or graphics processing units, but they weren't originally designed for this specific task of generating text response. Now, Groks were built from the ground up for that text generation process. A result of this, Groks chips can run these AI models up to 10 times faster while using 10 times less energy. And the man behind this technology is someone named Jonathan Ross, and he's a key player in all of this. He's the founder and CEO of Grok. But before starting at Grok, Jonathan Ross actually worked over at Google, where he helped create the TPU, or Tensor Processing Unit. This is Google's own custom AI chip, and it's become one of the biggest threats to Nvidia's dominance, which actually brings us to why this deal is happening right now. You see, Google recently unveiled its seventh generation TPU called Ironwood and then released Gemini 3 shortly after. But here's the thing, Gemini 3 was trained entirely on Google's own TPU chips. No Nvidia hardware was involved at all. And this is huge because it proves that a company can build world-class AI without depending on Nvidia. Google's stock went up, Nvidia's stock went down, but Nvidia, they're smart. What did they do? They went out and they hired the guy who built Google's TPU in the first place. Nvidia isn't technically buying Grok. Instead, they're calling it a non-exclusive licensing agreement. They're paying $20 billion to license Grok's technology and hire Jonathan Ross, along with the company's president, Sonny Madra, and other key team members from Grok. So Grok, on paper, continues to exist as an independent company, but then that begs the question, why structure it this way? Well, it all comes down to one thing, regulation. Back in 2022, Nvidia tried to buy a chip company called Arm for $40 billion and regulators blocked it. An outright acquisition of Grok would likely face the same kind of scrutiny, especially with Nvidia already controlling over 90% of the AI chip market. The analyst put it pretty bluntly. The deal structure keeps the fiction of competition alive.